Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's look at some nuclide symbols and see if we can't find the atomic number, number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and then the mass number. So let's go ahead and get started. If you look at this, this is the symbol. This is carbon. This will be the atomic number, the lower, the six, and this will be the mass number, which is the combination of the number of protons and neutrons. So let's get started. The atomic number obviously is six, and it always tells you the number of protons. Now, to find the number of neutrons, we will take the mass number of 14 and subtract the atomic number, and 14 minus 6 is 8. Now, for the number of electrons, there is not a plus or minus, so it's not an ion, so it is neutral. So if it's neutral, the number of protons, which are positive, will equal the number of electrons, which is a negative number. And then, like I said, the mass number is right here with the 14. Okay, so there's the first example. Now, this hydrogen is slightly tricky, uh, so let's get started with it, okay? Okay, so the atomic number, obviously, it's down here, the, right here, it's 1. So it has 1 proton, remember, they're positive. Now, for the number of neutrons, well, it has a mass number of one, what well, has one proton. So if you subtract one minus one, it's going to be zero. Yes, no neutrons. Now for the electrons, it is an ion. It has a plus one charge. Remember, protons have a plus one. So what will you subtract from one to equal one? And that is zero. So it has zero electrons. Yes, zero electrons. And then the mass number is one. That's kind of a weird... Um, ion there. Okay, now let's look at the next. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We have the atomic number of 17. I'll circle it. Number of protons is going to equal that. Remember, they're positively charged. Number of neutrons, let's take 35 minus 17. It's kind of hard what I just wrote there, and that is 18. Again, I took the mass number of 35 and subtracted the atomic number of 17. Number of electrons. Well, we know that we have 17 positives, and it has a negative 1 charge. You can assume there's a 1 right there. So that means we must have 18 negatives so that we end up with a minus 1 charge. So for this, it is 18. If you can see in the midst of all that messiness, that's what it is. And the mass number is 35. Okay, we're making progress. Let's move this on up. Let's do a couple more. Magnesium, and I'll pick it up. Uh, the atomic number is, let me pause here for a second. Okay, magnesium, I'm sorry, the atomic number is 12. And then the number of protons are 12. Remember, they're positive. I've said that several times. Neutrons is 24 minus 12, so that will be 12. Now let's go with the number of electrons. We have uh, 12 positives, and we need a... Uh, plus 2 charge, so that means it's going to have 10, because that gives you a plus 2 charge. So it is 10, and then the mass number is 24. Okay, next we have, again, atomic number is the number right here. Number of protons equals the mass number. Number of neutrons will be 108 minus 47. Woo, you can't see that. That is messy. And that equals 61. This chicken scratch here is 108 minus 47. Next, we have the number of electrons. Well, it has a plus one charge. It has 47 positives. So that means you're going to have 46 negatives. Okay? And that gives you a plus one charge. So you have 46 electrons. I'll circle that. And the mass number is 108. And now we're down to our very last one. Let's see. We have an isotope. Uh, we have the atomic number is 16. We have 16 protons. The number of neutrons will take 34 minus 16. And the last time I checked, that is 18, 18 neutrons. It, does, it is neutral, so it's going to be the protons and the electrons are going to be equal, which is 16. And last but not least, it has a mass number of 34. I hope that helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.